Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm the director of uh, At 16, uh, a short, short film about this journey that a young girl goes through uh, her day uh, after school when she meets all these different groups. Uh, and it's also a journey of self-discovery, but also uh, a journey where there's no like a real conclusion. So it's, it's about the process of growing up and all the troubles that you go through through life, especially when you're a kid and you're still looking for your own place in the world. Hi, welcome to the Teddy Award. My name is Jean Borbobak, and this time we are discussing the short film at 16. Hi, Carlos. Welcome to the Berlin Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Thank Teddy. you. Thank you for the invitation. I, I wish I was there physically, but anyway. yeah, we wish you too. <laughs> we wish that as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, throughout the festival, maybe we will have the yeah. chance to to cross paths. I do hope paths. so. Yeah. yeah, Carlos, tell me about it. What what was the inspiration behind this film? Well, the, um, I had this idea to create the story uh, about this journey, uh, about this coming of age of, of this young girl. Um, since the beginning, uh, the, the idea was to be about the girl. Mm. Uh, and I've been asked before, why are you writing from a female perspective since you're a guy, you know? But I, I wanted to, to speak... Um, to give voice to, to a girl, you know? I wanted to, to show... Sometimes you get a lot of, of male representation in movies, you know, also because they were skaters and they were quite uh, cool, you know, quite physical. So I wanted, uh, like, as a kind of a counterpoint to have this fragile girl, uh, this kind of innocence, but she's also doing her own self-discovery. So you see all these cool guys, but the main actress is a girl and she's, she's doing this discovery by herself. So the idea was uh, how to become an adult uh, and all these troubles, uh, all these doubts that teenagers go through. So that yeah. also inspired by my own youth, you know, this, this kind of feeling to belong to some kind of social group, also your own identity as a person and all the curious things that you see and, and then one day, um, or maybe not, you will know, discover who you are. So I wanted to make this one day as a, a young girl uh, trying to find a place in the world. So that yeah. was the main idea. Yeah, but it was interesting indeed, as you say, to see that this um, female character is kind of dropped into this very masculine world, also yeah. like this skating culture. We often imagine it as like a very masculine and male dominated mm -hmm. um male dominated group or community can you talk a bit about this tension how you approached it in the film well the uh, as a process first i found the skaters you know i used mm -hmm. to to skateboard when i was uh, I see. Young, so I knew this culture really well. I, I was a skateboarder for more than 15 years. It was like my life was skateboarding. And through skateboarding, I got to know all the bands that I still like and mm -hmm. also the cultural and visual references that I have um, as an artist. So I knew this kind of, I knew, I knew this skate culture really well. Yeah. So the process was I went to the skate park uh, and I met these young skaters. Um, so I was, um, getting in touch with them I, I had this idea for the movie but i see that i still haven't found the actress uh and i my first idea was that maybe i could find a girl that was a skater but mm. then i realized that if she was already a skater then 
she al already have all the style and mannerisms of the skateboarders. So I, I was decided that I wanted to find someone that was also alien to that culture. So I went to a local school uh, and I wanted to work with uh, teenagers from 14 until 16. So, so she could be younger, but she, she could look like she was 16. And actually the girl, she's, she's 14. Well, she was 14 okay. when, when, when we shot the film. And for her also was, was kind of a discovery, you know, because she didn't know the skate culture. Ob obviously, she was quite fascinated with uh, the skaters, uh, also because they look really cool. They are cool, you know, they are like the cool kids in, uh, in, in the school. And so her acting was very natural because she was really fascinated looking at them. And also we had to find the young skater that was still not as cool as the older ones. And mm. this was the one she will try and try to feel attracted to because in a way it was like a mirror of herself. And then we also were looking for the, the, the two girls that will be the, another counterpoint to her own uh, feminality, you know, um, yeah. where they are more confident um, and they know uh, their own sexual identity, where, whereas our main character is still a bit confused where, where, where she's going. Yeah, let's talk about this, that, because it's indeed an interesting positioning of her um, in regards of her um, sexual awakening, um, mm -hmm. that indeed we see this very masculine culture and there is, um, there is some sort of um, sexual or romantic tension brewing there, yeah. but then also there is, on the other hand, there are these two girls. Uh, who are like very sure about their sexualities and they are like very comfortable yeah. um, with that. And then that also creates some sort of intrigue or some sort of desire. She's fascinated by, she's fascinated by them. Actually, the, 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 the two girls, they are a couple in real life. Oh, nice. So for us, it was really, really easy because, you know, they're a couple. So when we were shooting, we said, this is a scene where you kiss each other. So... They, for them, it was really natural. So there was no discomfort with the team filming them. Mm. They were saying, oh, oh, you want us to repeat again? So there was actually, there was no, there was no anything, any sexual tension between them. Uh, it was like very normal. But between the, the girl, she yeah. was quite fascinated. Even when she was not acting, she was looking at them and... She, she was there when they were kissing. And when she's looking, we said, okay, now you see these two girls are kissing and you, you're intrigued. And without any giving her any straight points of direction, she bit her lip, you know. I think she was also kind of fascinated with what she was seeing. Um, right. And that for us is very, very natural and very interesting. It was not something that we provoked, but it was a very interesting reaction that she had with the two girls because they were... We introduced them and uh, she, uh, our main actress knew she, they were a couple. So for her, it was also like, okay, they're a couple and they're okay to be filmed. Mm. And uh, yeah. it was very interesting. Yeah, certainly. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, you also work with a lot of silences in yeah. this film, yeah. um, which sort of creates some sort of tension, but also allows us maybe to enter the headspace of this character. Um, what was your motivation behind behind telling the story in this particular way? I wanted I wanted to avoid uh, fake dialogues. You know, when when you try to write as a teenager, uh, you you might run run the risk of becoming too obvious or to put your own adult world in. Uh, how will the teenager speak? You know. So I, I we said we decided. There will be few dialogues and uh, the scenes will have to be very visual. So even without any words, you will understand the, the feelings and maybe try to imagine what goes in her mind. But we didn't want it to be, to be really clear. And it's also interesting because um, when she goes out to, to the concert uh, and she sees that uh, really strong uh, girl uh, yeah. that she, the other guy is called Freak. She is actually a boy. She's a trans, transgender boy. Mm. Um, and um, it was interesting because we spoke with this 
with this girl. Uh, she, she, she's changed her name. Now she, she's a girl. And I asked her because the, the, there's an insult. The, the group of skaters, they, they react because she's different. Yeah. And, but I didn't, I didn't have any insult written in the text. So I asked the, um, this girl, uh, from your experience, uh, when you're on the street, has anyone ever insulted you? Has, any, has anyone ever called you any slang, any name that uh, really hurts you? Because I don't want to impose any words that sure. you, you might react against. And strangely, which, which made me very happy, she said, I've never been insulted. And I was really happy with that. You know, when she said, I don't know what, what, what they can, can shout at me because yeah. I've never been insulted. And, and I thought, well, that's really good. Right, right. Because I was expecting in a Portuguese traditional society, you know, maybe she had encountered this kind of verbal abuse before, but she was like, yeah. no. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Which for, I, I, for me was very positive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yes, so what was your visual approach regarding regarding all of this? Because it's also quite interesting since you work with these many silences, as you also said, um, there is more emphasis on the visuality of it. So I'm, I'm curious about your approach to camera work, editing, and so on and so far. So I had the... Uh... A few visual references. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, the main one will be the Harmony Corinne movie Kids, which mm -hmm. I, I love a lot. So I spoke. Yeah. Um, actually, there's two cinematographers for this short film. They work um, together, and also they were giving their own inputs to the scene. So, in a way, uh, I, I told them, well, uh, because we have very few dialogues. Uh, I want to have lots of medium close-ups. I want you to try to capture the, her face. I want to, to capture, try to capture her own doubt, uh, her own shyness, the world she's witnessing throughout the film. Yeah. So um, it was also very like, try to also to create like kind of a documentary, very natural feeling. Uh, even the concert scene, which is more most intense scene, Actually, some kids were, were, it was the first time they were in a concert. Uh, oh, nice. So for them, it was like, it was a party. Also because we had been closed inside doors because of COVID. Right. And this was the opportunity for them like to, to enjoy. Uh, we, we spent an entire day recording that scene and the band played the song like 25 times. And they were dancing, uh, drinking, you know, and. It was a party. I, I, when, when you see the kids having fun, they were really having fun. So for us, it was really, really good that we could get the natural energy of them just like releasing the... Actually, uh, the kids you see in the beginning dancing, Yeah. Uh, they weren't supposed to be in the concert. Uh, they're kind of like the, the balance to, uh, against the, the more cool guys. But because we had few actors uh, it was difficult because of all the restrictions we asked the kids from the dancing school that we see in the beginning to come and to be part of the audience so we could have more people yeah. and to simulate that it's a live concert and for them it was like a really surprise you know? they were like it's the first concert of my life you know they were like really amazed with all the energy that was happening you know yeah. so it was a good way to put these two different cultures against each other but then throughout the music dancing they're all kids you know they were all having fun and right. all these barriers just disappeared it was really good right. it was a really good ex shooting experience for everyone mm. yeah how did you approach queerness in this film when it came to portraying this we already talked a bit about um the the actors who take in part the, this um this this same-sex couple and then mm -hmm. this trans uh, protagonist that you just mentioned, but what was uh, your vision about this? I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be an issue, you know, I, I was trying it to be natural, you mm. know, uh, I, I was trying to see, to sh try to show this couple kissing, uh, and it should be as natural as uh, a normal couple, uh, when I say normal, it's, it's stupid, you know, like a heterosexual couple, you know. So I, I didn't want it to be like, oh, it's a shocking scene, you know. I, I was like, yeah. let's do it natural. They're a couple. Let's see your reaction to it. And actually, the funny thing was, 
in the in the last scene, uh, our main actress she sees the girl that's kissing the other the girl in the beginning. She's yeah. kissing the boy she likes, mm. so she gets confused. Yeah. But when we were shooting, and this film doesn't tell, but just, it's a very interesting thing. When we were shooting, we asked the kid to kiss the girl. So okay. we said, okay, Pedro, well, it was his name. On this scene, you have to kiss her. And he didn't want to kiss her uh, oh, really? because he had never kissed the girl before. He was very shy. And we said, mm. it's just this scene. You touch, you maybe touch the lips, you know. You don't need to, to like really kiss her for yeah. real, but just touch, touch her lips. And it was hard. He didn't do it. Yeah. And the girl... Uh, she said, I, I, I can try and kiss him if, when he's not aware. But he said, don't do it. You know, he's not comfortable. So yeah. just try and be close to him and we'll film it in a way it seems like you're kissing. Yeah. So it was very interesting to see how the two girls were kissing themselves really naturally because they're a couple. They have no, no problems with that. And the guy kissing the girl, that was hard. And mm. for us, it was a surprise. We thought it would be easy because she's a nice looking girl. He's a nice looking boy. Yeah. And he was... He was really shy about it. He, he didn't want to be filmed kissing a girl. So it was like, okay, we are not expecting this. Yeah. So, but we wanted it not to be like a real issue. Just be like, look at it. It's not the main point. You know, it's, it's yeah, about this certainly. journey. You know. Certainly. Carlos, thank you very much for being here with us and for this nice thank conversation. Thank you for the invitation. It's, it's always a pleasure. 16. Yeah. And I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. I hope you like the film. <laughs>